as you say that... Would you like to be the president of Nigeria? Yeah. I pray my almighty Allah to be a, an, a president, if Allah permits. So what will you do if you become the president? But the main reason that I'm here to need a president because I, in my mind, I need to be an Nigeria united and also we have bad government and our government are very public fund. That means that our people are very corrupt. So what can you do to change the corruption? So when we leave the situation that we are in Nigeria now, our people having bad character and manner because each and every one of our people are belong with money. They are nothing there or looking what is more bitter or more important that going to encourage our people to develop. So what we do, what would you advise here Adwa, to do differently? Okay. I will advise that for our present we need the help from government as we are and students. If I'm remember during uh, Obasanjo administration, he said that all of our Nigerian people is better for them. Men no, not didn't belong with government work. But is it what is happening for our Nigerian people? Our Nigerian people conduct their schools without making work to do, whether in the public, whether in government Are you or saying private. you're going to encourage more public sector or private sector? That is what uh, public and the private sector are all about. Private sector, as I said, it the domi is the is undominated by some few of people do, uh, coming together to make an organization like in order to make like yourself being here, right? Is this a private this sector or is public an, sector? This uh, this uh, business is a private sector. <laughs> it's not like private sector, but it's not too usually a private sector. But it will be a private sector because if you call private sector as some little, some small business cases enterprise like this one. This one is a kind of business enterprises. Small cases business enterprises. Uh, and also these small cases business enterprises are doing it slowly, slowly, slowly. Then do it will develop for the next time to be a and private business sector. Let me ask you one question. All right. What's the average number of customers you have in a day? Average. So we having maybe we will have, we will have uh, fifty or seventy people that is buy bills from us. So the people that buy bills is seventy. How many people price brings? So maybe when you divide those 70 people into three groups, maybe 75% 70, of them, they will buy it as the price. And few of them, they will not buy it. They're just coming to make an economics. If, they are, if you are a good economics, economizing, you supposed to come into a market, then you will start an investigation or strongly due to the reason that you are going to check what is the price of that and what is the price of that 
then you will have and more ideas. Then you will encourage yourself when you want to come against to buy something else you wear, then you will know the price that you're going to buy. So, are you talking about bargaining power? Bargaining. Mm -hmm. There is bargaining. Even between me and my parents, we're supposed to do bargaining. For real? There is collecting bargaining mm -hmm. and also bargaining. Mm -hmm. Collective bargaining are the thing that we are calling an a business enterprises. Mm -hmm. During your business, whether the person is your uncle, whether whatever, you can do business bargaining along with them. Because in a business, in a business cases, there is no you can't make any business without bargaining. Mm. That is it. That's good. So now, what's uh, the bargaining strength of a customer? How will you get will you, will you get offended if a customer bargains too much? So what will you do? So when the customer comes along to you, you can bargain to him. But when you bargain over and over. This will cause you that your customer will understand or will take that bargain as a market needed. Mm -hmm. This means that this can occur that this customer will encourage him or discourage him for your market. So we're going to end this interview and thank you for the interview. So what's your name? My name is... I already informed you since, but I don't know whether you forgot or not. Mm -hmm. My name is Ismail. My mother's tongue is... My mother tongue is an English language. Thank you for and the interview. And I'm indigenous of Nigeria. Oh, that's good. Yeah. For us. Mm -hmm. Do you two want? Due to the reason that people making surveillance or monitoring mm -hmm. or putting eyes for us, that's why I can't. Uh, so, what's your mother's tongue? My mother think is is an English language. So you have to speak English very well, huh? All right. About what? You can ask me any question you need, but you can just forget about what public sector and the private okay. sector are all about. Okay, just tell me about something big in English. Your mother's tongue. Speak your mother's tongue. Use all the big, big mother's tongue that facilitate. You, you know what? I can't speak without a reason about what you need to me to speak. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, if I have to price from you, uh, beans, how much will you sell beans for me? We are selling last year, if I'm not forget, if I'm called, remember, last year we sell each the Rika at Titina. But in this situation that we are now today, day to day activity. And this year, we are selling each derika at 140 What happened? Why did it go up? Huh? Why did it go up? We didn't know the reason, but as I know that, the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded. And also, the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded. Mm -hmm. So, that is when all of our pheasants people, season three people, now they have no the advantages or vital important of their family because they have more income, they have more money for their own family. So what else? So now that uh, the price has gone so high, what are you doing to cut down the price? So we are all now to make Pray Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to permit us in order to achieve our goals or motives. May all and everything be well. So are you talking about your modus operandi? More. Modus operandi? Modern. Oh, you don't know modus operandi? Yeah. You don't know that one? Yeah. But that's your mother's tongue. I'm speaking just English to you. Modern, my mother tongue. But this one I'm speaking is it not part of your mother's tongue? It's a part of my mother tongue. Mm -hmm.
So why you know that guru with your mother's tongue anymore? Because as I as you know since I was young my mother teach me manner and the power to make man good character and manner. So why can I not speak it eh, for our people in order to develop it, to encourage myself?